Okay, so here we're going to do the uh, taping of the shoulder, the glenohumeral joint first, and then the AC joint, the two joints of the shoulder. Um, the two primary problem joints. There's also the SC joint. So this is four squares of BSN medical cover roll stretch. Now I'm going to place this underneath the spine of the scapula, maybe a little bit over the spine of the scapula. And I'm going to have to wrap around. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the shoulder on where it may be uh, possible to dislocate. So I'm going to be make sure I have it right on So here's the spine of the scapula, just right halfway on the spine of the scapula, wrapping far enough to the front of the shoulder. And I do another one exactly the same, just one level down. So I just wanna see, show, I take that tape off so the tape is not gonna stick to itself. So this tape likes to stick to itself, so we're careful to avoid that from happening. So we're gonna, with that no real stretch on this at this point I'm gonna make sure there's no gap here between the two okay now because the shoulder has a tendency to come out of place if we're working on this tape that means that the shoulder is partially dislocating or subluxating we're gonna tape the shoulder back in place, and this is very effective. This is the difference between being immobile and not using your shoulder and using your shoulder. So we can hold your shoulder in place, we can keep you taped after the regenerative procedure and still have you get better. So notice what I'm doing here is I'm pulling pretty significantly back. You can see how the tape gets pulled back. So, so the tape is getting bunched up because of the pressure on that stretch. So I'm gonna take that out right to the end. And I'm gonna use Teflon coated scissors, non-stick scissors to cut that tape. You get those Westcott non-stick scissors, usually from Staples or other places online. And then we have our uh, Our two inch, four, I mean, our two squares, four inch cover roll stretch. We're just gonna cover the, both the ends to make sure that tape doesn't come off. There's quite a bit of stretch on that elastic on We wanna keep, make sure that it stays in place. So unlike kinesio tape, which has a mild stretch, this elastic on we're putting a significant stretch on it, maybe like 80% of what it could stretch. Good. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and that's the end of the glenohumeral tape. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with the AC joint tape here. So the AC joint, if you look at this, you can see the clavicle here. Just turn towards me slight. There we go. Just grab, just hold that right there. Good. So this is the clavicle. So this, the, as the clavicle comes around, here's the AC joint. So this is the acromion. So this is the AC joint. Notice it goes at an angle forward. So we want to put the tape right over the clavicle, right over the acromion. So what we have is about five inches or two and a half squares of cover roll stretch. And you just watch how I take that off, carefully spreading my fingers so that it doesn't stick to itself. I'm going to put that, I'm going to again grab that so I know it's not always this easy to see. So I'm going to know where that clavicle is at. I'm going to put the tape about in the middle of the clavicle. And I'm gonna kind of wrap it around. And it comes a little bit, the chromium is a little bit forward of the clavicle. And I'm gonna put another piece of tape right over the AC joint. So I'm gonna hold that clavicle down. What I can do with this is I can keep the, the uh, joint from coming apart and I can keep it, the clavicle from moving up and down. I can't keep the joints from coming together and I can't keep the clavicle from going down but I can keep it from going up and then down. So this is the angle of, of, the, of the AC joint. Move that tape right over that angle and hold the clavicle down and prevent excessive motion across that joint. So the next thing I'm gonna take 
is some Luco tape. So on for the glenoid humeral joint, there's got there's more motions gonna happen across the joint. And so we had to use Elasticon by Johnson and Johnson tape, this three inch Elasticon here. But for the uh, for the AC joint, we're gonna use Luco tape, which is made by BS and Medical, the same company that makes the cover roll stretch, BSN Medical. So with this tape, it doesn't have a stretch at all. It's extremely strong and extremely sticky. And the reason why we put the white tape down first in both cases is because these tapes are so strong, they tend to take the skin off with them. So we're protecting the skin. So this could be taped as much as it needs to be by using the cover roll stretch. So we're careful not to get that off the edge of the white tape. We don't want any of that tape directly on the skin. So there's no stretch in this tape. This is like a, basically a cable. So we're adding a artificial ligament here over the skin. There's our AC joint tape and our glenohumeral joint tape, which is the most common shoulder uh, tape. So we're going to see a lot of people need this post regenerative medicine. If the AC joint is loose and unstable or separating, we're going to use this tape. If this, if the glenohumeral joint is loose and subluxating and unstable, maybe there's a slap lesion, we'll probably end up using a tape like this. What we don't do is use this tape over the joint because it tends to pull the joint out of its normal position and create uh, other impingements that we don't need. So the tape is gonna be below the spine of the scapula, below the spine of the scapula here.